What is up YouTube? This is Itel Hawkeyes and I'm coming up with a guide now. And since the new update I've lost 10 subscribers. Hey! Oh well. He's still got the beast subscribers. Um just a little thing there. If you want to go back to the old layout, do slash home. And it'll take you right to the old one. Yay! Okay, so when you've got Adobe After Effects open, drag the clip that you want to use. Oop, almost forgot to say, um, I'm going to put the applications in the description. You might want to watch this guide first, then install the programs, then watch do it again. So, the actual programs are Magic Bullet Lux. Well, I think it's the whole Magic Bu Bullet uh, series. Um, maybe Optical Flares and Twixter. I put all those into the description, um, as well as Adobe After Effects. So, what you want to do is, put that there. Um, zoom in a bit. Okay, I'm um, going to show you how to do a CC lens as well. Um, I'll also be editing this, like you know, this is a, this to me is a raw file. This is not going to be the final clip because then Sony Vegas I might want to throw the knife, speed up, get the kill, speed up, get the triple feed. And um, you'll see soon enough. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Magic Bullet Lux and add that to the clip of the first layer. And click edit. Um, uh, what you want to do is you want to pick a color that you know that's really nice because right now dome's a bit dull, you know, a bit dusty and dull. You don't like the dusty, dull thing. I can see the comments now. Oh God. Um, I mean, this has got so many things. It's just like you know, you can actually make your own, you know, and it's already set, so it's, it's, it saves you all the time. Like in Sony Vegas, it can take forever to render, but, you know, well, I'm going to say forever to render, compared to the quality of the Adobe After Effects, if you get what I mean. Okay, so, that's a bit bright, that's a bit crazy, that's a bit dark, that's a bit cold. Oh, I'm going to just roll it back up. Um, yeah, you've got loads of them, and they're pretty nice. Like, you know, you've got this one, those um, little boxes, they won't be there. That's just um, that's just like I think it's motion tracking software that you using. Yeah, see the way that one brings out all the color. Oh, that's really nice. Um, you can use stuff like this. There's ones that bring out like blue. Um, let's pick any color, guys, because you the first color. Well, what I'm about to do, this color won't be the first color, because you'll see soon. Right, you want what you want to do is press Control C on your keyboard. And then press Control V. I'll, sh I'll get down to this later. Okay, so uh, how am I gonna do this one? Oh God! Uh, you want to drag that layer? Oh God! I've completely gone blank. Why have I gone blank? Um. Oh God! I've actually gone blank. Um. Oh, that's it, that's it, okay guys, I just completely, you know, you get those mad moments where you go blank. Okay, Um. so what you want to do is, I've got the knife kill here, I'm just going to go a few frames ahead until you actually see the people. I'll try and get the gunshot, uh, uh, is that the first gunshot? <coughs> okay, one minute frame wants to load, okay, skip back a bit. You might want to, you know, zoom in a bit on the frames because you want the gunshot and you don't want it you know, completely off or look a bit crazy. So once you find your frame, I think, okay, so I think my frames around, my frames are that frame, I think. Pretty sure of it. So you've got your color correction, and on your second layer, you might want to put that there, just a few frames ahead of the kill. So it's around there. Then you want to type in CC lens, okay? So CC lens and drag that onto the top layer. Now it, it's gonna go all a bit funky and crazy, but just add that to zero for now. If I'm right, that's the kill. Okay, so if I'm right, what you want to do is I'm just gonna push that back a tiny bit because the actual sniper's there. You want to click on size and make sure it's zero. 
like I said, I like to uh, play around with the effects on the actual key line. I don't, I don't see the point of doing up there. So it just makes stuff more complicated. So what you want to do is drag it to the once you've got zero keyed, just go a few steps ahead of the actual kill and click around 330. And you guys will see this little weird blur like this. That's not the reason why we want. You don't want a little dodgy blur like that. Now here's the awesome trick. Okay, you want to click on magic bullet looks again. Actually, no, you don't. Okay, you want to click on the top layer with the CC lens, and you want to click edit on magic bullet looks. And now I want you to change the color correction. So I click on hmm, which one do I want? Ultra blue? No, that I'm not. You know, I could sit here for yeah, blue sky. That'd be nice. So what happens is um, when you shoot the color correction shoots out like this and completely changes the color correction I mean that's I like this effect a lot because if you can get that on sync with the shot um, you know it can come out pretty nice you've probably seen it in some of my montages like the, as you see there the you see the bullet there yep and that that's that's all it is you know you um, like I've got the throw knife as the first kill so what I'll probably do is uh, I'll edit that in Sony Vegas with a slow motion or if you really want to do it you can go to theater mode and see the third person view of the throw knife like um, maybe a 70% angle of the throw knife you know five meters away but like I said that's a bit more in the future but this is really nice I think you could do this with a dazzle you know it, it, I don't think it requires heavy frames per second so once you've got that, you've got that. But if you really wanted to do it, you could, you know, get it in sync with all the shots. But I, I wouldn't like to do that because, you know, it's take forever. Um. So, like I said, don't worry about, you know, it's not the clips ahead and that around on the best. Just um. Once it's like that, and I think it's already. You could add an optical flare. Now some people don't like this, but I think it's okay. You know, just to um, this is how I do it. Um, I click 3D, and where is it? Go scroll to the very bottom and click on Over Original. Okay. Now, this is where some people get a bit. You know, oh, that looks that looks a bit weird. Okay, this is some people might go, what the hell's he doing? I had a, the lightness to around 400. You know, oh, MSN, hello. And I drag that off right down there. So you're only left with these little flares. You know, it's pretty nice. But you want to add the position from that's the first frame of the position, and drag it to the very end and move it around there. So it's just not sticking there. And then you want to scroll down on the effects and find flicker. Um, I just randomly do it, you know. At the seed, it'll start flicking over. You don't want it like a you know dead so too high like that. You want it too high because it'll start giving people fits. Um. Okay. So once you're happy with the color correction and the CC lens, you know, um, render it. You might want to get the shots in sync. That's why I was gonna leave it Sony Vegas. Okay. So click composition. Add to render queue and click render um, I'm going to pause the video so once the video is actually rendered I'll get back to you okay we're back and we're in Sony Vegas um, if your clip is like that and you don't know what to change you can right click click switches and maintain a spec video um, okay so the clip will be throw the knife is there? Sony Vegas slow motion isn't the best, but still, it does. Then be simply cut, paste, and da 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 da. Skip it till we.
you, you could do if you had a song and you know I buy the song here but okay I'm gonna fast forward that um it, it's not really good because I'm not waking with a song okay so I'm just gonna boom okay so edit it as you will yeah, I'm just showing you what I'm gonna do to it okay, it really helps well if you've got audio with you okay so wait for that bit just gonna make that a bit slower but if you don't know how to make uh, anything slow motion you press control in Sony Vegas okay so I mean if you've got a hard scope and you want to fast forward it like that what you could actually do is probably speed it up, like and then that whistle just like blew some people's headphone people are. Okay, so I'm gonna try and find the song here. Um, I'm gonna pause this video until I find the song. Alright, <laughs> guys, I'm back. I've added MSR sounds. Um, what you wanna do is now. I think this is quite good, but you don't wanna, you know, overuse it. It's a bit common sense. Okay, so. We want the one first keyframe on none. Well, you know, I'm just editing it as a as a wood, you know, because I don't like the fact I'm gonna throw a flash grenade after this, so I'll just play it out a tiny bit. And it, it's not even that big of a deal because it's it's about half a second, maybe maybe a second, and so I'll tell you now. Yeah, about half a second. So you barely knows it. Just be a quick player. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, I mean, you should, you, you guys should be taking a bit more time than me. Um, if you haven't got MSR sounds, you can create them in private matches. Okay, so there's the gunshot. Well, there's the first gunshot. You want to match up all your audio in sync with the actual shot. Oh, not like how I've just done it then. Okay, so like this got to play through. I mean, you want to get it in sync as well, so it'd be cool. Okay, so if I go to here, possibly fast forward it to try and get it all in sync. Okay, so the next gunshot. Okay. Let's quickly check that. Always check through. We've also noticed there's this. Uh, okay, so if I could play again. No, what the hell? He's doing clips, not audio. Um. So put that on there, and then I think what I'll do is this, muffle the audio, so you want to cut the audio, delete the access audio, paste the audio and drag it onto its own separate layer, just after that bit there, and you click on, oh, not that. click on effects, and I've saved it, so copy these settings and I just Saved as that. So you want to copy those settings. We have to pause the video. Okay, so once you've set the audio, it'll change like a muffle. So it'll be, it's quite nice. I'm not going to slow this down a bit dramatically. It's like Control Z. That was not. Okay, you wanna cut. This is where Twixer comes in handy um, because what I would actually possibly do, but it would have took me like you know a few hours, but well, not a few hours, maybe two hours. Like every time you shoot, you do super slow motion for about a few seconds. 
Then I'll possibly fade it off around there. Okay, let me just check if it's true. Right, there's a massive gap here where the character's just running. So I'm just going to add the blur there. So it doesn't make it too dull, you know. It's like, you can make it too boring, so the character's just running. Uh, okay, let's go. Let it do this. Okay, you might want to drag the keys to the end to make it a bit longer. Okay, let's just uh, play. Okay, so on this one shot, I didn't get it right, it was too early. So I just let me just test one through. Okay, got, um, okay guys, so what you want to do is. Wait, you guys don't have to do anything. I have just got to render it. So I'm just going to pause this video until I render it. Okay guys, the final result is done. Um, I've just got to add the video I've just made then to the timeline for you guys. Um, so it's going to be at the end of this bit here. And it goes like... <laughs> Bye.